Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new save file. I did start up a run as Blue Baby, but then I realised that I hadn't started the recording. So we're starting now and we're jumping in. We do start with Petrified Poop and we also start with the Black Poop item. Ooh, it's kind of interesting entrance to a room here. Don't do it, Spider. No, okay. Um, <laughs> kind of interesting entrance to a room here. But yeah, we uh, start with this Black Poop thing as well, which is kind of an interesting idea for a buff to Blue Baby. Um, I like it. Let's carry on and see what we can get done. But yeah, so if we, if we use these poops, I guess on occasion, there'll be uh, there'll be black poops, which is kind of nice. Okay, nice. Got rid of them pretty quickly. This enemy I still find to be one of the toughest or like most annoying enemies you can find on the early floors. But let's see if we can have a good time. We're on like a six streak, I think, at the minute, which is reasonably good. Oh my lord. <laughs> reasonably good. Um, eh. We'll see what's in our shop real quick. We've got bombs. Ooh, baby. Yes, please. I will very, very much take a good old toy box to begin the run. And I do realise Begotten Arm is just much better. Um, I don't know what the second one, uh, sorry, the, the fourth one I got is, but the rest of them are pretty good. I realise that Begotten Arm is really good, but I'm honestly okay with sticking with the poop right now and getting some trinkets. And all of those are pretty good, to be fair. More cards, um, dark items will give us some damage. Don't know what the other one is. And then we've got Mitosis, which is pretty good. Okay, um... An enemy is crippled or covered in darkness or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so it just seems like one enemy per room will be like darkened, which is pretty useful, I think. That's a good trinket to have. And then our item room is going to be straight up beautiful. Hey, there you go. Look, there you go. Um, oh, we also get a teleport to a black market as well. That's rather intriguing. But yeah, getting piercing, of course. Very good. Pretty good first floor, I've got to say. I gotta say I, I absolutely love the toy box as for the question of the day today what's like a board game or some, something like that, that you've been really looking forward to playing recently like an in-person game because uh, I've, I've sort of spoke about it on my channel a little bit before but uh, I've uh, recently started a DD &D campaign with some friends and I'm really really enjoying it dude spin down fragment as well this is all sorts of good um although the spin down fragment isn't ideal because I'm Basically, if I want to use the black market, I have to get rid of the spin down fragment, which I think the black market is probably more worthwhile. This is kind of a tricky one, to be honest. I mean, I guess we have the opportunity to potentially spin down um, the boss item here and get something good. But I think the likelihood of it being something we want to spin down into something great is unlikely. I mean, Constellation Prize, uh, Toothpicks, there's one other... Uh, boss item that's really good for spinning down. So we do have some options of uh, spin down being really, really valuable for us here, but the specificity of it actually being the thing we want it to be is unlikely. But we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, we started a D&D campaign recently and I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, I'm playing as a, as a like a half, uh, not halfling, a changeling, which is basically a race that can uh, at will change to different forms. They have like different personas. So I had to like write out a bunch of personas and this backstory and stuff. That I actually just want. I don't know what to do here. I definitely want to use the black market thing, but I can't get back to get the spin down shard if I do. So it's kind of a, a rough draw. I guess I'll go in here and hope I get a um hope I get something that I can spin down. Nah. Okay. Well, I'll just use this now, unfortunately, then, and just deal with it. Okay. So. Obviously, Blanket is just a take because Blanket is, like, free. <laughs> um, spawn a Golem Trinket on pickup and... Um, you, I'm definitely going to take this. And then, honestly, uh, grind your current trinket into a rock trinket and grind regular trinkets into rock trinkets. I'm just going to take this just because it's going to give us a trinket. Um, 1.35 damage guarantees a deal room and spawns a black heart instead of a soul heart when crushed. Some extra damage. Okay, that was pretty good. Yeah, unfortunately this room you, you just can't get out of. Because bringing a spin down in here would have been pretty good because we could have spun, spun down these bad boys, but... It is what it is. I guess we'll just continue on and say goodbye to the spin down fragment. But smelter with a run that we've already got four smelted trinkets. What's better than this? Oh, yes. <laughs> I completely forgot about. Oh, no, I'm so happy. That is. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. 
You don't, you don't even, oh, fuck's sake. Okay, let's be careful here, because our health is actually not great. Okay, let's not die. I don't know what my health's like at the minute, but it's definitely not good. But that is, that is some beauty that you can only imagine. Oh, I love that. Perthora is pretty good here too. We'll uh, keep Perthora in mind at least. Right, go straight for the boss here. Good old baby Plum. Slowing there's lovely. I don't know if Plum Flute spins down to anything special, but I think I'd know about it if it did. Oh, I forgot I get a Holy Mantle in the boss fights as well because of Blanket. Lovely stuff. Nice. Um, that's just going to end up being the Kinder Egg thing. So... Yeah, I guess I just take this. Devil deal's a little risky here, but I'll take a check. So, let's have a little look-see. Um... Gamble on this? This is a- this is a pretty- pretty spicy gamble. I gamble on this. Yeah, and we just leave, because I think things are going to get too risky otherwise. I don't know what my health is currently sitting at, but it can't be good. Oh, bullshit. I'm one hit off death now, I think. Okay, there is a tinted rock there that could save our life. I'm really hoping it does. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, beautiful stuff here. And that's going to spin down. Ooh, this is tricky because I genuinely think that the Swindler boy is, like, worth a spin down here. Let's let's play out the floor first. Uh, I'm going to pop my sun card, actually, in a, in a room here. Uh, this is seven, seven, seven eighths chance to gain one random beneficial effect on entering the next floor. This trinket is always destroyed after entering the next floor. Okay, we'll take that and see. Guillotine. You know how I feel about guillotine. Spin down could be useful in this. I think right now I'm going to pair throw it though. I think I want to spin down that, but we'll see. Yeah, we're definitely going to um, spin down this. Because this this guy is an absolute G. I love him. Also got golden bombs. Dude, the golden bombs recently have been nuts. We've been getting golden bombs out the wazoo. Have at it, my good fella. I'm going to take a few coins, but you can have the rest. Yeah. Take that. You can have another penny there. Activates a random soul stone effect. Ooh, intriguing. Right, keep going here. Go back and get the uh, pair through a rune. Might as well do these extra rooms, though. You can take some of that stuff. We'll, we'll have a look what these cards are, at least. I guess I could pop this down and uh, destroy it. Okay. Not too bad. We do have another trinket there, but there's no way we're going to get a charge for that, so I'm not going to worry about it. Pop some of these, try and get a quarter. Another trinket. Okay, right. Perthra. Come and change guillotine. I do like guillotine, I'll be honest, but it just gets me hurt so often, and I have to, I have to draw the line somewhere. Trying to find a crawl space if I can, but I'm not going to completely overdo it. I'll just check the big clumps of rocks. Don't always get what you want. Right, Perthora. Ah, unfortunate. It was a gamble, but we, we, we went for it. This could be really dangerous, but I like the idea. <laughs> I like the idea. Right, second secret room, whereabouts are you? Probably off of this room here, I would guess. Yeah. Cool. What we got going on in here? Ooh, hello. Good room. Why is it all wavy in here? 
Pet Rock. Yes. Gotta love Pet Rock. Dude. You can have some of that money, but you're not having all of it, my lad. I need at least enough to buy whatever you're dropping for me. Right, to the next floor. So we'll see, we've got a 7th, 8th chance of getting a, a positive effect from this trinket. We'll see what that means. Um, It made a noise, and it made like a, a lock opening noise. So I don't know how valuable that was to us. We've got Solar Bethany, nice. Oh, here we go, he's got an item for us. A 1 cent item, bag of seeds, nice. Not a bad one whatsoever. Oh, dude, I blew myself up there. That was stupid. Another one cent item. Mom's eyeshadow. This is why this guy's amazing. Give, give him enough money, and he will reward you heavily. Much better than some temporary... Well, I said temporary. Some, some small amounts of stats. I need to figure out how to properly use Pet Rock, because he is actually potentially pretty decent. You can use him to, like... Oh, I got my reflection now as well. Nice. You can use him to, like, push him over pit. Yeah, there you go. You can, like, make gaps over pits with him, which is pretty cool. Right, we don't currently have a trinket in our pocket at the minute to smelt. A little inefficient for our charges. I can't believe that that play with the spin down the... I'm so happy that we uh, had a, the, the one trinket that would allow us to keep it without even knowing about it. I, I, I do wonder if any of you in the comments had spotted that before I did. Man, this guy. Paying out with one cent items all day, every day. Devil disc. All day, every day. Members, I mean, I'll, I'll re-roll it and see what we get. We do get Greg the Egg. I do like Greg the Egg. Okay, let's get in here first. Turn that boy into gold. A few little black poops there doing some damage. But yeah, in, in the uh, in the D&D campaign as well, I managed to roll a natural 20 as my first ever roll of the campaign, which I think has to say something. But we're playing with a few new people as well, which is fun. Um, I'll take that. I'll take that. Can I re-roll this? Okay, it just duplicated it, I guess. Wait, does just using it on nothing do stuff? No. Okay, he's good for now, but... Yeah, so I can, I can come over here and use that on this. Yeah, it's decent enough, I guess. I'll come in. Before it runs out, I'll try and get... Ah, I ran out. <laughs> I was going to try and get over to another room where I could use it more effectively, but... Did not have the time. Not have the time. Oh, this is one thing I fucking hate about the Swindler Boy, though. He's so good, but sometimes he'll do this bullshit where he places a purchasable in the doorway and there's no way around it. It's like, come on, doubt. It just isn't fair. Should have had my spirit of denial ready for this. You know, to re-roll this would have been good. Ooh, there you go. That's a pretty good trinket to smell up. Yeah, so now we're going to have to pay to exit this room. Actually, technically we don't have to, but I'd, I'd need a trinket and I've just smelted a trinket, so... I've kind of screwed myself over on this one, haven't I? Um, I need a, I need a card or something. Do we have a card? Boy, we don't have anything we can use to avoid this, do we? You little shit. You absolute little shit. Yeah. He does that. He likes doing that. Very annoying. Alright, cool. You've bought yourself some stuff. Now stop putting purchasables in, do in doorways, you little fool. Alright, let's get out of here. Good floor though, but yeah, we're we'll playing we'll play with like some someone that's new to D and D as well, and that's that's always fun to uh, sort of be able to introduce. I mean, I myself am not particularly well experienced with D and D. I've only had done one campaign prior, but I feel like D and D is one of those things where you get like you don't have to know it super well to enjoy it, and it's all about like how much you put into it. Like if you're willing to really sort of do a lot of the role play side of things, hello. Um, if you're willing to do a lot of the roleplay side of things, it can be really fun. Okay, I've not seen this one before. 
Um, shot speed, range, tears a spectral and fired a small distance away from Isaac and travel backwards. If they pass through Isaac, that seems really interesting, especially with my reflection, actually. Okay, this is certainly going to make for um, a, tr a tricky way of playing the game. Because I, now, I, now I have to fire backwards at all times. Which seems to, seems to be strange with my reflection. I've created something quite peculiar here, haven't I? I like it though, it's something different. I seem to be doing good damage with it too, like very good damage. Which is going to take a while to get used to is the only thing. Uh, we got whatever this is. I'll bomb it and see. Degas. Degas, beautiful. Gotta love a free Degas. Very intriguing for an item. Especially, like, paired with my reflection. What are you gonna give, give us now? That's a 13 cent item. How dare you? How dare you come at me with an item that is of reasonable cost? I expect premium discounts, my guy. I didn't bring you into this world so that you could give me a shitty deal. I'm dumbfounded by the cost of your wares. <laughs> this is so interesting. Very, very weird to, to, to shoot like this. Really is, but it's kind of working out. Just makes uh, the way that I've got to move around rooms a little more, a little more strange. Right, this is my money, you shit. Don't be trying to steal it. My money. I will give you your tuppence when you've earned your tuppence, small child. Euphoria is probably pretty decent. Come on, trinkets, where you at? I need more sucky sucky. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, this is good shit. This. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know like how my reflection is affecting it. Really, doesn't seem to be affecting it a whole lot, to be honest. There's a penny for you. You got your tuppence there. What else we got going on here? I'll do some of the extra rooms to see if my boy will give me some more purchasables. I'm not going to go wild on it though. And we get that. Yeah, dude, I'm, I need more trinkets, game. I need more trinkets. Yeah, we'll get this poop here. Nice that it's no longer a red poop. And then you can go as well. I mean, the damage we're putting out right now is, is pretty impressive, considering we only have seven damage. The extra we're getting. The whippies. Cool, we get ourselves a bit of latch key. Not bad. And then in here, ooh, yes, I love this item. I love this item. Uh, we're only going light path here. Um, we've not got anything else to do. I guess I'll kill you anyways. Ooh, one thing that is problematic about this, though, is I don't believe the skulls will fire unless you're firing forward towards the enemy. So I don't think we'll actually be able to use the skulls unless we purposely start firing forward. Which means the skulls aren't anywhere near as usable as normal. A three cent key, boy. Do you know who I am? Do you know what you're messing with? But yeah, another part of the D&D campaign that's been quite fun is um, we, uh, as, as my character's kind of like the, the stamina, stamina, no, uh, charisma, like talk, talking guy, like the, pe the front man of the group. I said talking guy, like a, a, a real person that knows how to speak to people. <laughs> like, yeah, like the, uh, the charismatic guy of the group that does a lot of the sort of front man talking. That's kind of what, what I framed myself as, just because as my character, I start out with like 19 charisma, which is one off the max. It's pretty crazy. Um... And, uh, yeah, because of that, like, I, I I managed to end up getting myself quite a lot of good stuff right off the bat. So I went to this, like, government government building, like, um, right at the start of the campaign, like, 
we all entered the city separately and I uh, I was like outside this government building because my backstory is that I come from sort of um, the court and come from government. So uh, I was like sort of acting as if I was there on business. I changed into one of my personas, which is uh, my like um, court persona. Oh God, taking some bad damage here. It's hard to manage everything when I'm shooting wrong. Um, yeah, I changed it to the right persona so I could like get access to all the rooms and I managed to like get some pretty good info on like the prison. And so when we actually ended up getting into the sort of the meat of the campaign where we meet at the first session, so I say, where we fought some guys that were robbing a bank, I was able to like talk to some of the guards and basically gain access to the prison. Um, so I can go interrogate some of them, which is pretty cool, which is what I think what we're going to do next session. Um, and I'm pretty excited about it. Also as well, um, with our, with what our DM's doing, he's made it so that we can basically do like glory kills. Um, so whenever we like land a killing blow on an enemy, we get to like decide how they, how it's done, how they die. That's a three cent, wait no, is that a 13 cent? You little spicy bean burrito. I really thought you were being very kind to me there and it turns out you've cooked me. My money. I want money equals power. It's not yours. Again, my money. Can't have things at the moment. You can have some more later. This is a horrible looking room. Okay, we managed to stay mostly aware there. And what we got going on in here. Wow, dead tooth. That's going to be amazing. Okay, not not great. Not great. This runs a bit weird. Gotta say, this runs a bit weird. Probably would have been a lot better off if I just stuck with regular piercing rather than taking this weird shit. But you can't blame me for it, though. Oh, dude. This guy's jumped and he's slowing down and he can't get down. We're going to have to bomb out. Okay, luckily it did kill him. I'm doing that. I don't know how exactly, but it did. Yeah, so, like, on, on my first kill that I got, I managed to, like, absolutely obliterate a guy. He, like, slashed at me with a sword, and then I, um, I, like, grabbed his arm, pushed it against him, and then used, um, Eldritch Blast, which is, like, one of the spells I get as a, um, oh god, as a warlock. It was just, it was kind of amazing. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I was really, I really love with D&D getting really into the roleplay aspects and, like, proper being your character. It just makes it way more fun. Right, check what's going on in here. Do you have a soul harp? I don't even know if I want to buy that, really. Nice. Okay, boss time, I guess. Unfortunately, trinkets have not been coming as hot and fast as they once were. Okay, broke my holy mantle, that's fine. Need ha uh, faster fire rate as well, really. Okay, I think we got him. Yeah. Did take a bit of damage there. We got a lot of these um, tainted hearts. What do you want to call them? Light <sighs> item selection has not been great. Don't think more range really does anything for us when we've got this much. Lump of coal would be very good right now, but you know for a fact I ain't getting lump of coal. Yeah. Kind of saw that one coming. You know, like, whenever you have a run where Lump of Coal would be amazing, it's like, <laughs> ah, 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 not for you. I'm really liking this trinket that's, like, making one, um, one enemy, a uh, what they called, like, crippled every, ro every room. It's really nice. Oh, another tainted treasure room. We're going all tainted today. Um... It's kind of spicy, this one, but it is damage, and I do want damage, and I'm going to take it. And also, missing page two doesn't really do much for us. What's this green one do? Have I seen green one before? Ow. Certainly a little tricky. Got an Emperor card there as well.
Okay, we did get a trinket there. Unfortunately, it's a trinket that doesn't do anything for us. Let's not let's let's, let's not dwell on the uh, the downsides. I'm taking the money again, my guy. I'll give you some money soon. Just not yet. The moment I want to build up some damage. Dude, our keys are crazy right now. We've got so many keys. We opened up this chest. Right. I'm going to start giving you some money now that I've got enough. Right, there you go. Have, 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 have at it, my little lad. Have at it. Get some sustenance going. Lovely. Honestly, little Loki, I'm really not that interested. All locked doors will spawn as unlocked cursed doors. That doesn't sound super tempting, but I will take this over little Loki. I think it's a much better. Lovely. Oh, we got a D12 for sale. I mean, you're starting to drop some of the goods now, but D12 isn't exactly what we wanted, is it? So I'm not going to pick it up. I respect your effort, but you've missed the mark on this. Oh, come on now. Come on, fella. Smelt this bad boy. Yeah, there's some trinkets you definitely don't want smelted like that one. Oh, do yeah, do you know what? You you have at it. You oh really get it paid out like three times. I was really expecting that guy to have a whale of a time there with that golden penny, but sadly he did not get even a even a modicum of that. A tiny tiny amount of time with that golden penny. That's a luck penny. I'm taking that. I'm sorry, my my good friend, but luck doesn't do anything for you. It's pretty good for me. There's one of the Necronomicons we were sort of waiting for. We'll also pop this open because normally these give you more money than they cost to open. Normally. Or they'll give you Greed's Gullet, which is pretty good. Not amazing, but pretty good. Second secret room seems obvious here. Oh, hello, Transcendence. And it was a secret room item as well, so the flight's quite, quite nice here. I'll take that. Okay. Boss time. Shan't be too bad. This has been a weird run, this has. This has been a weird, weird run. But yeah, I'd love to run D&D on YouTube, but it's just too difficult to run online, I think. I've tried doing online D&D sessions before, and they're just nowhere near as good as they are in person. It's just not the same. Um, Yeah, I'll take that, why not? Smelt that down. And I, I want to use the Emperor card to skip. Actually, do you know what? Now, now it's an XL fly, I definitely will. I was, like, I was curious whether to use it or not, but I was like... Oh, I want to make sure Swindler can have his time in the, in the sun. Do some stuff for us. But honestly, it's actually much better off to uh, just go straight for the boss in this situation. Also, we have two Holy Mantles on the uh, on the boss. Very nice. Ah, uh, you managed to... Oh, wait. This is weird. I've never managed to kill you during this phase before. That was strange. Right. Should be mostly fine up here. I don't really know what you do, but I'm just going to fire up the wall above me. Oh, God. Yeah, nice and easy. And we get ourselves some tier size. Wow. And quite a lot of range. Wow. Uh, we're going up. Okay. Quick and easy. Nice, nice. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say I'd love to play D&D with like people in the Discord and people on YouTube and stuff. But yeah, online D&D is just not. It's just it's it's not bad. Like if it's your only option, it's definitely not bad. But yeah, compared to in-person D&D, it's just not the same at all. In person is just so much better because you can just act and like like show emotion in your character so much better. 
And I feel like you can react to people's faces and stuff. And it's it's it's, it's, it's always nice to be able to see your DM like acting out the NPCs and stuff, putting the voices on and stuff. It's always a bonus. Be able to sort of see all that in action. But yeah, I think we got this in the bag at this point here. This has been a pretty, pretty goddamn strong run, to be honest. Despite its weird and kookiness. Feels like it's been a really quick run, but it's basically because we just got to skip both of the uh, womb floors instantly, which is something I can only ever dream of. XL floor. Ooh, hello. Uh, XL floor womb with an emperor card is literally the, the something I dream about. So perfect. Really, of all the things in the room, you had to cripple. You had to cripple his lantern. Oh, I forgot about Euphoria. I was like, why are we firing so goddamn fast? Euphoria is just slapping the shit out of this guy. We get a good old bit of glyph of balance here. Crack dice. Eh, it's a bit of a gamble, but why not? Still a trinket at the end of the day. Super magnet. Maybe, maybe not quite super magnet. We got them all? Nope. Still a ghosty in here. Ow. Try to use Euphoria as much as I can here, but not always the best option. Melt that down. Nice. He's spawning a lot of items for me now, but I can't afford them. Friendship necklace. Why not? Causes towards the end of the run that it gives me everything I've ever wanted. Yeah, Euphoria, I just have to give up on you right now because. Although you've been good to me, it's, it's it's getting me hit a lot trying to utilize Euphoria. What have you got for me this time? A battery charge. Oh, that was a very, very good brimstone there. Nice. Right, here might be one where we can use Euphoria effectively. I don't know how I haven't been hit yet, to be honest. I think my, my wisps are saving me for, for, uh, saving me from quite a bit of damage here. I love the fact that there's new patterns for the uh, the beams, by the way. I don't know when they got added, but it makes the eyes look way, way, way more difficult. You can't just stand in the exact same place every single time anymore. I like that. Look at this. This is just wild. I don't even know what's going on right now. I don't know where to stand. Okie dokie. Right. See what our items end up being. We're actually not doing as good as I thought on HP, so let's, uh, let's be a little more careful. Ooh, all chests ended up being pretty good. More range, perhaps? Plus six range. <laughs> Obviously, cancer's some good stuff here. Off the get, just having extra fire rate bonus. It's nice. Tammy's head and flush, I don't really think, do much for us. Not really. Oh, there's a spike rock there. God damn it. Didn't see that. You can have that, my guy. Forgotten Lullaby I might come back and, and re, uh, re-smelt once I'm ready. Going up to 9.19 fire rate when we're uh, at max.
Very beautiful. Oh, really? You all spawned like that? Kind of annoying. There you go. That's better. Right, we've smelted that now. Quickly go back and get Forgotten Lullaby. Although, actually don't think Forgotten Lullaby does anything for us right now. We've got no familiar that benefits from it, but technically it could work in situations where the friend folio gives us something, so... Let's not completely disregard it. I'm not quite sure what the hell's this this pulsating mass of piercing bullshit is, but a technically rubber would be pretty decent. Because he fires faster now, so it's something. Oh god. That's a lot of jumpy fellas. I am I don't want, sadly. Smelt that up. Placing that in the doorway again. Gotta love his little pranks. Oh my god, it exploded everywhere. I'm hoping we gotta go left here. Another trinket in here, apparently. What you got for sale, my guy? Bob's... No, Bob's Curse? Yeah, Bob's Curse. Ugh. This room is disgusting. <laughs> right, I'm just hoping we can absolutely rinse this guy and not have to move. Okay, good. So yeah, that is that is some grossness beyond beyond belief. Another trinket in there. I don't care. Okay, this this room isn't actually combat based. Ow. Did get briefly hit there. Yeah, health is not looking all that healthy. Shouldn't have actually gone for this, you know. Should have gone for that. My bad. Right. Let's do this thing. I don't think using thingy's the best result here, you know. I think I just need to be changing direction and shoot directly at him. Because he just moves around so much. That's a holy mantle gone at least. It's actually going to be really tricky, I think. Ah, oh, that was a very, very bad hit as well. Ah, bugger. We're, we're two hits off death now. This, this phase is taking way longer than I expected. Yeah, there you go. We're fucked. Damn, this is, this was tricky. This phase has been really hard. It's just... The aiming like this is so bad. Dude, this phase is so long. Die, my guy. And then this phase is just all-out nightmare fuel. Like, there's so many of his attacks that I have no idea how to dodge. Yeah, I just don't know how to dodge him. Unfortunate, unfortunate, all that for nothing. I really should have not have taken that fucking piercing arrow item, because it's 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 kind of garbage, I'll be honest. It, it makes it so much harder to aim, it's not worth it. But it was fun. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.